Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 7th. Wow, January is already a week old, 2018, just moving right along. Satellite image this morning shows once again we have some cirrus clouds streaming across the sky of the southeastern U.S., but this cirrus is a little bit thicker than what we saw yesterday. Uh, that allowed temperatures yesterday to climb into the 40s, and I expect we'll be in the upper 40s today. On the surface map, uh, we have a large high-pressure system that is off to our northeast, creating a little bit of a wedge. Uh, it's not in the most favorable position, nor is it quite as strong as uh, we typically look for, for a very strong wedge to occur, but the, it's likely to affect primarily the northern Georgia area. In the meantime, though, we're watching the development of a storm system over the Texas panhandle, and in the upper atmosphere, we've got a nice trough that's uh, coming into uh, the uh, New Mexico, Tex West Texas area, and uh, that will be helping to enhance that storm system as it dives into the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days. Temperatures across the state a little bit warmer than we've seen recently, uh, just about all of north and central Alabama in the 20s. Uh, that certainly beats those teens we've been seeing. That storm system uh, uh, helping to prompt a number of winter weather advisories, all that purple that you see extending down into the Alabama-Georgia uh, boundary there. Still have some uh, flash flood watches down in southern uh, Louisiana and southern Mississippi. All the blues, the muted and cyan colors are wind chill. The cyan wind chill advisories, the muted blues are wind chill warnings. We have um, hard freeze down in the southeast Georgia and north uh, east uh, Florida. And then a scattering of uh, some winter weather over the uh, western part of the Colorado area. QPF-wise, we're looking for a little bit more rain over the next uh, event. This is uh, through 12Z Friday, so it may actually include a little bit of rain that's going to occur beginning uh, Friday morning over uh, the southeastern U.S. Storm Prediction Center has a uh, small area of thunderstorms out, uh, outlooked over Louisiana primarily and eastern Texas. For day two, uh, we see Louisiana and southern Mississippi as well as California. And then for day three, it's Florida and the southwest United States. All right, the 06 CGFS model run. And here comes our nice little trough coming across the Texas panhandle. And we're under a weak ridging today. So again, that's going to bring temperatures up a little bit. And at the surface, we see that high pressure system on the mid-Atlantic states, again, helping to create a little bit of a wedge into uh, Georgia, especially the Upper level uh, short wave moves into southern Louisiana, the lower Mississippi River Valley. And uh, at the surface, we're going to be concerned about the freezing precipitation. Looks like, uh, and this is the GFS model run, um, so this is uh, some snow over uh, north central Alabama, the Huntsville area, uh, early on, uh, around midnight, Sunday night, uh, early Monday morning. And that moves over into uh, the uh, uh, northwest Georgia, where it looks like it's going to be freezing rain and could cause some icing issues. And as a result, of course, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see the uh, uh, temperatures warm and the icing should move on to the uh, northeast. That has resulted in winter weather advisories for a good portion of the um, northeast Alabama and northwest uh, Georgia areas. And, of course, on Monday, rain over a good portion of uh, the southeastern U.S. as we see the surface low over southeast Louisiana. We move out to Tuesday, and that uh, upper-level uh, uh, short wave and closed low moves into the eastern Gulf. And as it does, it should take much of the precipitation with it uh, as we see uh, a high move into Ohio and settle in over that area. In the upper atmosphere, the uh, closed low moves over to Cuba, and heading for the Bahamas, while another one is coming in there at New Mexico. And um, 
that we stay dry on Wednesday, I think. Uh, we still see that development of a surface low over uh, southeast Colorado. The upper air system uh, begins to weaken as it comes out, so it's no longer a closed low, but it's an open trough as it moves out into northeast Texas. And at the surface, we see the surface low move up into the Great Lakes with a cold front trailing down into uh, eastern Texas. Now, what's going to happen there is as the surface, as the upper air feature moves over the southeastern U.S., we're going to see a secondary low form along that front, and that will move up into the southern Appalachians on Friday. That should bring us a good deal of rain. Initially, it looks like uh, any real threat for any winter precipitation is going to stay well north of us, uh, as uh, most of the atmosphere should be above freezing uh, up to certain levels there. So it looks like we should be okay, but we'll need to be keeping an eye on that just to make sure that nothing changes. Saturday, the uh, trough moves in significantly, and that uh, basically reinforces that broad trough over the eastern U.S. and a large high-pressure system over Nebraska and Kansas is funneling that cold Canadian air back into our area. And then on uh, Sunday, a week from today, the 14th of January, uh, you see the uh, broad trough once again established over the eastern part of the country. As we move out into voodoo country, uh, that trough stays and, and is reinforced by the 16th. But by the 18th, we've gone nearly zonal across the southern tier of the United States. And then by the, the 20th, we're into a ridge. So that looks like a nice warming, especially over the southeastern U.S. And then, whoa, whoa, Nelly. Wow, that is a very strong, potent-looking storm that could produce both severe weather and winter weather over the central United States and maybe even the southeastern U.S. But remember, this is way out in voodoo. This is 372 hours out. This whole feature could be gone tomorrow. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will have the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, you can always check back on the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. Have a great day. Godspeed. KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.